hi guys welcome back to my channel vlog talk where we vlog and talk and i pray that you guys are doing fantastic as always all right guys so we're just going to go ahead and get into a word of prayer right now let us we pray thank you we thank you for being alpha and omega the beginning and the end father thank you for allowing us to live to see another day father god thank you for allowing us to hang up our cross and follow you that's not easy to do but father god if we could just trust you you said prove to us that you will open up the windows of heaven heaven and pour us out so many blessings that there are no more room to receive father god and i thank you for that you are not a man that you should lie as it says in the book of numbers father god you cannot lie you are not a man you are a spirit and you cannot lie father god you cannot forget father i thank you lord god for not being able to lie or forget father i thank you for your blood this morning i thank you father god for being alpha and omega lord i thank you for blessing each and every individual father god that is tuning in right now i thank you that there are psalms 91 equipped and their families father god i cover them with your blood they have every need met father god in the name of jesus and all that agree said amen title for today is richer and richer richer and richer coming from our text and Genesis 26, verse 13. And the man waxed great and went forth and grew until he became very great. Another translation says that he grew richer and richer and kept getting richer. That's what God wants us to experience. The rich is not just in finances, but in all things. Rich in your peace, rich in your joy, rich in being sound, rich in all areas of your life, especially the financial arena. I have a recent testimony okay i know i've been sharing a lot of old stories but this just happened this morning i recently hired someone on my staff to do some additional work for me and in the midst of hiring them i didn't quite know how i was going to continue to pay them and i began to have all types of headaches about it i began to have soreness in my uh, shoulders about it which is stress Okay, and I began to feel the weight and the pressure of this issue. And so I began to speak the word only. And I began to speak that I am richer and richer and kept getting richer. On last night, I opened up the Bible and I went under Genesis chapter 26, verse 13, where it talks about getting richer and richer. In my situation, even though God blessed me financially, in my mind again, there it is again, in the mind, I had to remember that, wait a minute, God blessed you to be financially free. So don't worry about how you're going to continue to pay this individual because, you know, you have to continue to have a financial flow if you're going to have employees. Long story short, as I'm in the word, reading his word and believing in his word, and I said, Father God, yes, I am financially free. I have to cast this thought out of shortage that, oh my God, maybe one day I'm not going to be able to afford to pay this individual or I'm not going to be able to afford to pay the rest of my staff because this may happen or that may happen no god had prospered me i remember coming on yesterday saying that god had made me financially free and i had to remind myself of what the lord had done for me that i'm not going to run out i'm not going to face any type of shortage because i'm in the word and i have a covenant with the father so as i began to study his word i began to meditate there it is i began to meditate and see the candles coming the next day i had a thought to check my my bank account and I checked my bank account and I had an overflow supernatural overflow and money that showed up in my account the Lord did this and was able to continue to pay my workers do you hear me this is supernatural overflow this is overnight this is overnight blessing say overnight blessing I'm talking about waking up and seeing the answer I woke up I had the issue last night I went before the Lord and began to give him the praise and I woke up with the answer already manifested do you hear me that's quick manifestation right there god has given you riches he's giving you riches according to psalms 112 and 3 wealth and riches are in your house see i had to quote that scripture and i had to believe that in order for the word to become flesh we got Isaiah 45 and 3. God has given us the wisdom to attract the wealth in hidden secret places. See, these places are hidden and secret. These are secret places that no one knows about, but God 
but he's given us the wisdom to attract and find out it's kind of like hide and go seek as these riches hide we begin to go seek these riches and know exactly where to find them because of the wisdom of god he has given us wisdom to attract the wealth verse 3 13 says long life is in her right hand and in her left hand are riches and honor so you got riches and honor in your right hand in your right hand are riches and honor. This is a part of the covenant. This is a part of the blessing that activates the blessings. Remember that? It's a part of the blessing, which is all a part of the covenant with the father. It's going back to the covenant. Abraham had a covenant with the father. He went from Abram to Abraham, all because God had established his covenant with him. Sarah became Sarah to Sarah. He changed their names. So after they established their covenant, their name began to change just like when you get married your name changes and also everything else in your life changed everything else in abraham and sarah's life changed they were the wealthiest couple alive do you hear me abraham was able to own every piece of land from the north south east and west god delivered it unto his hands on this day giving him a hundredfold now yeah. verse 18 and 18 says riches and honor are with me enduring wealth and righteousness so righteousness attracts the wealth as well we just learned that righteousness attracts riches righteousness attracts the riches into your life according to proverbs 18 and 18 it says riches and honor are with me so riches and honor are with you and the inside of you why because god is in the inside of you and greater is he that is within you than he that is within the world and during wealth the other half of this verse says enduring wealth and righteousness righteousness see abraham was righteous because god made him righteous not because he was just abraham no it's because he established a covenant with the father to attract the riches abraham was very uh, rich and what about his son isaac who sold in his land and also meditated on god's word so meditation will magnetize the campbells it has the riches i believe because that's what happened to me this morning I meditated on God's word and I began to see an overflow of riches in my account. So I saw the Campbells coming, just like Isaac. And then I also paid my tithes. I sold 10% of that back into the ministry. And just like Isaac, he sold in his land and received in the same year a hundredfold. See, when you sow, when you tithe, it's connected to the riches. Tithing is connected to the riches. When you sow in this land, you shall receive a hundredfold now, just like Isaac did with possessions of flocks, cattle, sheep, asses, man and maid servants. I have servants. The Bible calls them man and maid servants but I like to call them my workers my employees that i have the finances to continue to pay as they work for me do you hear me then this is all a part of the covenant god wants us to be richer richer and keep getting richer because that is his will for our lives rich not just in finances but rich in our peace and our love and our joy i'm going to revert back to the finances because you cannot even stay in your own apartment if, if you don't have finances right you can't even keep a staff on your payroll if you don't have the finances you do have to have the faith but faith know what you need the faith goes out and get the finances right it goes out on the field and get what you need and what you need is riches in all arena because that is the will of god for you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper remember Remember I said I sold in this land, so in this land, just like Isaac, you will begin to get richer and richer and richer and richer and you'll be able to bless people who are in need. You will be able to be a walking supply house for others. You will be able to help others pay their rent, help others build their businesses you will be able to be of a benefit to others see this money is not just for us to keep but us to pay it forward hallelujah but you can't pay anything forward unless you tithe so that you can get richer and richer and keep getting richer so that you can bless others who are in need of the blessing so that you can help someone else build their house from the ground up so that you can donate funds to the children who are in need and who are hungry so that you can even help the poor you have to have finances to do these things to build multi-trillion dollar corporations right to put workers in this building to work for you to pay the construction workers to build the facility 
It takes finances to do. I'm telling you that God's will is for you to be prosperous in every arena. Well, I trusted that you enjoyed that teaching. I'm going to ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm also going to ask that you hit that notification bell so that you may be posted on each time I post a video. I'm going to ask that if you desire to be prosperous in every arena, it starts first by getting in the kingdom. And with that being said, I'm going to ask you if the world will be ending today, would you be going to heaven or to hell? If the answer is no or I don't know, then repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you now just as I am. You know my life. You know how I've lived. Forgive me, Lord. I believe that Jesus died and rose the third day. Hallelujah. You're saved. Now I'm going to speak to your minds. Minds all is well with you. Are prosperous and in health. Now I'm going to speak to you, the human spirit. I ask that you open up your Bibles and find out more about who you are in the Lord and begin to give God the praise for all that he's done for you. Begin to also give God the praise for prospering you. As you begin to praise him, you're going to begin to receive a gift called the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to close us out in prayer. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Vlog Talk. And it's always a pleasure to vlog and talk.